Okay, I'm showing how much hair is in the brush after using it. And this is after using it several times. So this is showing the brush with the hairball. So that's how much hair um, that did come out while I was brushing it. Keep in mind that I do wear a wig. So that is hair that's coming out of the wig. It's not that much. Um, and you get probably about the same with a wig brush as well. So it's about consistent with what I usually see. So I would say good job Dollar Tree on this brush. It can be used for a regular brush, but it can also be used for those of us who wear units as an alternative to a um, metal bristled brush, wig brush. All righty, all righty, all righty. I am back and doing a review on the products from Dollar Tree from the haul. Listen. Rarely do you catch me without my unit. Listen, y'all getting that exclusive behind the scenes. So, but to review the shampoos and the things that went along with hair care, I do not have on a unit. I just got out of the shower. Um, and so I'm bringing, going to go ahead and record that part of the video. So stay tuned. Alrighty, about to try this one. going to break this package open real quick. gonna so feel so good okay trying it now alrighty so first up we have the good scalp massager I did of course take this out to use it but I just put it back in the packages for the, back in the package for display purposes it is again called the first line sleek trust me to relax shampoo and clean shampoo brush i call it aka the massager the scalp massager oh what i am going to say about the scalp massager it was worth every penny of that dollar that i paid for it listen listen honey if nothing gets you a scalp massager in your life okay this brings life to my scalp and i have not I've not done a scalp massage in a long time. And so I could tell that my scalp was super tight, super tight. Um, they say, I'm gonna put the package down. They say that it does promote uh, circulation and blood flow in your scalp and which in turn pr promotes hair growth. So I am working on uh, growing out my hair. So that would be very helpful for me. But the scalp massager gave me life. So A plus on that one. Next up is going to be the knockoff or generic version of the head and shoulders. It is called Personal Care Fresh Ocean. I believe is the, I don't wanna say flavor, but the smell or the scent that associated that's associated with this. Uh, Personal Care Fresh Ocean Daily Cleanse. Oh, that word I cannot pronounce. Pyrithion zinc. Um, correct me in the comments. I know I'm probably butchering that word. Dandruff shampoo helps relieve itching, dryness, and flakiness. All hair types. Okay, so the knockoff version of Head and Shoulders. Only difference, this is only shampoo, not shampoo and conditioner. Um... First, I will say consistency wise, it's a whole different consistency than head and shoulders. Head and shoulders gives you kind of a chalky feel, kind of if you were to say like milk of magnesia ish, that chalky is liquid, but it's like a chalky liquid um, from my experience with head and shoulders. This one was more of a creamy consistency. It was, um, let's see the color wise, color wise, it was that same white color, but it was more creamy than chalk, the chalky uh, consistency that you get with the head and shoulders shampoo and conditioner. 
but I believe that may just because be because this is only shampoo. So that's one thing with that. Um, clean wise, oh my God, it did the same thing the Head and Shoulders did as far as strip away all of the oils and the things you know that's to help with any um fungus infections on your scalp like if you get a lot of flakes what's happening you may have a fungus infection or a mini one it may not be a major one but it might be a mini one so it helps to totally cleanse your scalp so it did a excellent job of that um the only difference i would say Head and shoulders, you get a more minty feel with it. I don't know if they put some type of mint in there but or eucalyptus or something, but it makes your pores feel more open and just aware. So this, I did not get that feel with it, but again, this does not have conditioner, so that may be the conditioning element of head and shoulders. Overall, I will use it again. Um, I did get very, very clean hair with it. So that is the purpose of shampoo, you know. And then to have that zinc, um, that element that keeps away that fungus infection is actually a benefit. So I would say uh, pretty good, pretty good. I'm going to keep using it over time to see how I like it too. But uh, overall, pretty good though. Good job. Next up, we have the Silkiance Hair Care Pro Formula 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner with Pro Vitamin B, Aloe Vera, and Soy Protein. Um, and I was comparing this to uh, hair, Tail and Mane, Tail and Mane Shampoo. So Tail and Mane, if you're not familiar with it, it is a shampoo that originated originally was used for horses, but people also saw the benefit in it. And started using it so on their packaging they do say it is for um, animals and people so both can use it uh, according to the package directions so this one is a uh, two-in-one so it's a shampoo and conditioner um, and I like I said I'm comparing it to that I know that and that excuse me tail and mane does have vitamin b5 in it um, as far as aloe vera and soy protein, I don't know if it has those ingredients in it, but um, it, it seems very similar to their formula. I would say consistency wise, um, theirs is very, very, when it comes out of the package, it's very silky. It's very moisture rich and silky um, to the point where it almost looks pearlized in color. Like, it's not just white. It's like a pearl white. It's so silky looking. This has kind of that consistency, but just a little bit less thick. So it's more watery instead of uh, the thickness that you get with the actual tail and mane uh, formula. Um, overall, wash-wise, and then again, this is wash and conditioner. I did jo enjoy the fact that this was a two-in-one, so I didn't have to stop uh washing condition and then rinse the conditioner out you're doing it all in one step so that was wonderful i did this and um so initially i washed with the head and shoulder knockoff i rinsed that out and also i used the scalp brush with it rinsed it out then i came back and did the tail and mane knockoff version silky and hair care pro formula two in one shampoo and conditioner um and then did that with a scalp massager and wash that out when i tell you squeaky clean hair these are definitely good shampoos as far as if you need to get the oil out of your hair literally i heard my hair squeak i heard my hair squeak it was so cleansed of oils and any impurities I heard as I was um, like rubbing my hand on my hair rubbing I think it was rubbing my hand as I was getting the product out I literally heard a squeak so squeaky clean these are gonna do it you need squeaky clean they have squeaky clean so definitely definitely um, I would recommend both of them um, I'm gonna use them more over time this is about a few days after I bought them so, like I said, I'm 
cycling through the products and reviewing them as I go and open them and use them. So, so you do see my teeny weeny afro. <laughs> and um, TWA is the acronym if you've ever heard of it. TWA, I've not heard of it. Teeny weeny afro is what I have. I will say um, my afro was much smaller than this before I got in the shower. And after cleaning with these two products and using the scalp brush, and then I also used the scalp brush with a conditioner, like a leave-in conditioner that I use. Um, and I was brushing my scalp, did circles, and then kind of fluffing it out. My hair looks like it's grown, um, but it, to my knowledge, it hadn't grown. But maybe just having a purely cleaned and co conditioned, you know, scalp and hair, uh, it gave me some... Uh, it pulled pulled uh, my natural coil and it made it stretch is what the word I'm trying to use, stretch. Uh, I was thinking of shrinkage, but that's not the word I was using. I was looking for a stretch. It did stretch my hair. So if you're looking to stretch your hair, um, this might be it. And you're all natural. This might be a way to do it with a scalp massager, shampoo, and conditioner. So um, overall, I would say yes on the one other thing I wanted to add about the Silk Yance, which was the one that I was, the shampoo and conditioner that I was comparing to Tail and Mane, the smell, I did not really care for the smell of it. Um, initially, I was like, oh, okay, it has a smell, and let me smell it. I don't even, uh, it's just a, I don't know what they put in it to create some type of smell. But it's just it is not integrated in the product it doesn't seem like they just it was an afterthought and they just squirted some smell in there and it just i don't care for the smell it's not a bad smell it's just a art of really artificial smell i'm sensitive to those things just because i am kind of more all natural with not only products that i try to use but also um no take that back i'm all natural with my eating products you know you, i'm working on toward being uh more natural with my products but i do use regular products from the stores that do have other alternate ingredients but um the smell i didn't jive with the smell it was just like they just threw something in there for the sm to add a scent to it but i would have preferred if they would just even made it just scentless um scent free so uh this one was they tried to it seemed like it was more of a fresh scent smell that fresh clean so i would say overall that was good on the dandruff shampoo next up i'm going to review the tweezer in the manicure set so here goes the tweezers so if you remember, just a reminder, this is what the manicure set looks like. It was iridescent. It does have this clear button cover on it. So let me take that button off. It is also still very sparkly and shiny. Okay, and so I am reviewing the tweezers, which I had already taken off. There was a little um, plastic holder that was holding them together. I took that off, and I used tweezers to pluck Look, look, look. I do have miscellaneous hairs that I pluck with the tweezers. I always like a sharp tweezer. Um, not sharp to the point of cutting, but sharp in that uh, these edges are very slim and they're pointed. And then this part flat. So I do like it sharp like this. This is the perfect for me. This is, let me do this. Here we go. I don't know if it'll come, but for me, this is the perfect set of tweezers. Just the right angle I like. And it is an angular head for going in those hard to reach places. So I would say on the tweezer in the manicure set, A. Plus. Um, I have not had to use the scissor for anything. 
So overall on the manicure set with me not reviewing the um, scissors, I would say it's pretty good. Um, I do not think that this is a clipper that can handle my toenail. However, that's okay. It's perfect for travel. So that is that. And last but not least, I'm coming back to the cocoa butter. So this is the um, first time I've used it full body since I've gotten it. So like I said, I did just get out of the shower. I put on the cocoa butter. I put it on my face first, neck, shoulders. I usually go down from there. Of course, you let, you know, motion up your whole body. Um, overall impressions, the same thing I said on the first day, which it is sticky when you first put it on. But then when you have it on, you feel like you have a protective coat on. So I don't know if that's good or bad. Um, I have to wear it out in the elements overall. That first day, I only did my hands and feet. And then the next day, my feet were still a little ashy. But I am a dry, very dry person. So um, that's just kind of normal for me. Within 24 hours, I probably will be ashy some of the better lotions don't make me ashy or don't allow me to get ashy within 24 hours but generally on the cheaper side i'm going to get the ones that you know they will i'll be ashy back again so uh, besides getting oil i just have really dry skin so that was normal so i didn't think anything of that but that still that stickiness is there when i put it all over my whole body but then, like I said, once the stickiness feeling goes away, then um, it just feels like you kind of have on an armor coat. Um, I wouldn't say like a wax coat is, I think, the word I'm looking for, a wax coat. So that's what it feels like. And then um, also I got some itching. I do have very sensitive skin as well. So I got some itching kind of around my face here and then on my legs a little bit. So you see me scratching and stuff. It is actually itching a little bit. So um, that part I do not like. Thankfully, this one is small. So once I use this all up, I probably won't get this one again. They had a different one. Um, I don't think this one compares apples to apples of the lotion that I usually get. So they had a different one. I'm going to try the other one because I think it, it's more comparable to the one that I actually get which is, um, I usually get the knockoff version of the cocoa butter, which is a knockoff version, I believe, of the Vaseline cocoa butter, if I'm not mistaken. But it's like the gro grocery store brand. So I'm going to try a different one from the dollar store. This one just, um, right now it, it, it will do, but I don't like the itchiness. I don't like the stickiness initially, even though that does go away. I'm going to try a different one with that. Just wanted to come on here and do a short video. Again, y'all got the exclusive with no unit on because I wanted to uh, just do it right after to capture my thoughts and ideas. Those again, I'm going to continue to review them as I go as well. So I shall return.